Let's talk to this priest. Coworkers scheduled a 4 p.m. Friday me meeting. What the fuck? Fire them. Me and antihistamines are solid friends. Yeah. to do that but your meetings were five minutes long and everybody got an early start to their weekend mm, that's good that's a good way to do it is that the priest what the hell's he doing hey Blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. Jesus Christ, I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lipa, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty I ask as you will be wish. quickly. Did you know Lubosh? This priest is like? from the south a, a little bit. Soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Overtime to watch Billy, yes, please. Uh. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? Suspicious? All sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubosh don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. What was Lubosh doing the day of the raid? Do you know raid? what Lubosh was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. This game's what? too old to have... I'm bound it... by certain vows that... A game now could be made vows with more this important kind than of catching level dangerous murders. AI voice acting. There are laws of God above the laws of this man, son. And like one of those six years is the old sanctity of the confessional. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances, and this is one of them. Okay. But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him, but if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you I would be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church, if people believed the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment? No one escapes punishment. God damn it. I thought that for sure my, with my bonus it was going to work. Father, Lubosh was my only lead to the Neuhof Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. The Lord watch over okay. You. I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practiced with a stick. Reminder of my youth and days gone by. Please drink with the village. I'm going to drink with them. Don't worry. You have any work for me? Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. 
Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. A witch? The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. Practice with a stick. A little bird told me stick. she incited some oh, Ujets no. women to witchery. A little bird, a little told, bird you. told you. did it. You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Oh, consider it done. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman in the woods. Take care now. Okay, bye. The herb, herb women. Garlic that will cure all ailments. Garlic that will cure all ailments. God be with you. What's up, bud? Uh, there's apparently nothing new on Lubash from that guy. Good day to you. What do you need? Trader man, tell me about Lubash. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but to ask all you want. So you have a manly scent. How do you uh, even seduce someone? With my manly scent, what do you mean? That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. Anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious? Anything recently? sus going on out here? Think of it. He was in church yesterday. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what he was up to, to take to the faith all of a sudden. But I suppose no sins too dark for God's mercy. Uh, what was Lubash doing on the day of the new off raid? Who was Lubash seeing? Do you know anyone Lubash used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but he never said much. Okie dokie. That's all. Thank you. Farewell. I don't like this investigation in this game very much. It's like, fine, but like, uh, nothing particularly... Engaging, I don't feel like. You just hit me? I discovered church. Wow, we just discovered it. Curious about if there's any like evidence here. I'm in a private area chat. Wow. That that that's the private area. Yeah, I mean they, they don't, they, the priest wouldn't like write anything down, I don't imagine. I was doing crimes for a second. Oh! Ah. 
I mean, I, if he did write anything down, I don't, oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, here, there is a door up here. Never mind. Uh, hard lock pick, eh? I guess I, I mean, I know I'm going to have to speak with the guy in the tavern. I could try to do the quest for, for the priest with the witch or whatever. Maybe that would make him more amenable to helping me. Yeah. don't know, though. He did say he's not one to forget a debt or whatever the fuck Lannister he shit he said. Always pay his debts. horse riding on par with Red Dead. Yeah, it's alright. It's not uh, as good as Red Dead's, I don't think, but it is yeah. definitely solid. Could be a lot worse. It is nice that we don't get hung up on literally everything that we run. Where the fuck is this place? Is it like really far away or something? Oh. That's what I'm looking for. I was riding the wrong fucking direction. Shit. Yeah! Wow, you can really, <laughs> you can really just kind of ride through some bullshit. That's nice, it's convenient. This looks like a pretty herbalisty kind of place. Good God, what happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. <laughs> oh, come on! 
Oh. Oh. Come on, I'm not that bad. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Voice acting uh, so far is really spotty. Yeah. I mean, uh, there, yeah, it's, it's a bit uh, all over the place. Speak up, you old hag, or I'll wring your neck. Easy now, lad. Do you really mean to threaten an old woman like me? But, very well. I'll tell you all I know. Best dis of 2024 so far? Thing. Yeah, pretty it's rough. It's preying on my mind so much, I can't sleep I got kind of destroyed. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see, Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujits wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. What ointment? What kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. It's a mushroom a ointment. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you. Or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. She's just a drug dealer, yeah. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their Sabbaths on broomsticks... The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. All right. Will you give me the recipe? Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna and the herb Paris, both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling she with She gave it. him acid, yeah. So why did you change your mind? And why are you so worried about them all of a sudden? What changed your mind? I'm losing sleep over it. Firstly, those women don't know what they're doing. Kind of sounds like Sylvia doing. Sydney. I'm not familiar secondly, with the name. Folk might see her voice does witchcraft. sound familiar, though. And do you know what they do to witches? They burn them alive. That they do. So don't be surprised, I'm worried. It didn't bother you before, though. All right, uh, so why did you let them have the so ointment at all? why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in. Oh, the yeah, Lord. Juno and Beetlejuice. Sure, sure. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their play or the clink of their coin. All right. What did they want the ointment for? Each one of them lost a loved one recently, and it's grieving them. They wanted to talk with the dead. All right. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. God damn it. Why does everybody got me all running around doing these errands for Very them? well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. I'll go to the reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. Take care. 
You learned paganism. Such an upright knight and all. God damn it. Alright, come on, let's go talk to people about their magical goddamn ointments. Up, up. People see you and think this knight's got his shit together, he can do the same for me. No, they think this knight's got shit all over him. I should tell him something to get him the hell away from me, is probably what they're thinking. Activated the perk, Berger. Dash me. Let's go talk to some people that are high on acid. So you're talking to chat? Don't be high on acid while watching this stream. It could be dangerous. Ah, you can probably be high on acid while watching this stream. Who am I to say you can't? It's too late. That's fine. Is there something you need? What the hell are you guys just talking about? I didn't... It was just weird how you stopped once I walked up to you. Sus as fuck, bud. I've heard talk of some magic lotion. I heard something about a magic ointment that you got from the herb woman. You heard that where? And what business is it of yours? Quiet, leaf woman. Maybe we're the ones high on acid. The priest is concerned. The priest can go to hell. All he cares about is filling his belly. And then that bastard talks down to us from the pulpit about temperance and humility. It's because of his sort, the lords and the humans here, that killed my husband and children. Where was the priest then, eh? You do know that what I've heard amounts to a burning offense. What do I care about burning? Everyone I loved is dead. Uh. There's nothing left for me to lose. And I've got nothing to say to you. What I do at night is my own business. All right, fine. Won't show yourself. Like the magpies and the jackdaws that can be heard in the background. Yeah, there's lots of good uh, audio in the game in general. Well done stuff. It came hey, from who's over there? Here. I heard about I've a magical heard ointment. About a magical ointment. Really? I'd like to know where from. And what concern is it of yours, anyway? I've been sent by the herb woman. The herb woman sent me. Gertrude? 
What does she want? More money. Uh. She'd like to know just what you're planning to do with it. She's worried about you. What made her change her tune? You can tell her we plan to do exactly what we agreed and not to worry. Okay. What was that noise? I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm in I don't know how I... All right. That's all. Thank you. I've heard some... Really? The priest. The priest? <laughs> it's nice to find out what telltales you have for neighbours. But believe me, it's none of your business. Or the priests. Okay. I mean, I can threaten her, but I don't feel like it's fucking whatever. I don't I'll quite try know it. what's going on, but I'll find out by hook or by crook. So start talking. Only herbal ointment, some chanting, and three women at night in the woods. No harm done to anyone. Maybe some help to some. So why don't you stop interfering? Follow the woman to the woods, eh? What's that? Hey! Hello. What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof. I don't know nothing about it. Okay, what was Lubosh doing? Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day? I was coming from the tavern very late that night. A glimpse of someone entering the village. Oh! It looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky. But after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. I've come in the same and Sir Hanish also. He's a hottie. <laughs> all right. That's all. Well, I didn't Thank really you. have any good information. I'm looking for the local groom. Where can I find him? If he isn't in the stables, then I have no idea where he's got to. Take care now. Okay. Does this place have a bathhouse? If they try to steal them, now that I understand. What's that? A grocer. Okay. Dicey, dicey peoples. <sighs> I could just wait here until night. Good day to you. What do you need? Uh, what's happening around here? Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. Around here? <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> when the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> uh, is there anything suspicious going on? In Nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, oh, okay. Can I sleep here? Certainly. Blank stare on For how long? Henry's face. Just the one night. All right. The money up front, though. Here you are. You all like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. Okay. 
Where do I go to sleep? You'll have no trouble finding it. Right inside the door to the building, there's a ladder up to the loft. Your bed's ready there, and a trunk for your belongings. Rowdy action at the stables, you say? Yeah, we're gonna check it out. good enough probably I probably should have slept on that bed I feel like the one that I slept on was probably the worst of the two beds all right priest the blessings of our Lord be and with you lad Take a seat. All right, what you got for me, Padre? I'm sorry I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. Okay, it was. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. One ale over my parents, here, my girl, my... even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing ale I could do. As usual. Then I'd I fled like to Townberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... We saved that one chick who was being assaulted. My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? Trauma dumping, nice. Sir yeah. To send that old grouch, Bernard. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing, what actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. Uh, it's actually probably worse. The rumors aren't exaggerated. Yeah, this is my first play through Flying Broom, yeah. Neuhoff stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then. Very good game, kind of hard though. Who had to die like, so I like the combat quite so a bit. It's, it's tough. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. Tough but fair. You don't so look feels much like our parish so priest far. at home. <clears throat> I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Okay. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. 
There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Okay. I mean, like... You're just making excuses. The people who say the church is corrupt are right. You don't care about anyone, only your own comfort. I'm sorry you see it that way. Really sorry. You've no idea how wrong you are. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Yeah, we did find Ginger, yeah. Where else do you get the ideas for your sermons? This well, is the next Egypt part of the quest. Isn't Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular. I mean, the thing about Especially this voice actor is, like, and similar scandalous vices. it just doesn't, like, his voice doesn't seem appropriate for the, well, the fact that this is, like, a period a piece. By the name of Jan Hus <laughs> it just doesn't fit. In, Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. I'd like a journeyman who heard him told me what Hoos is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking I'll about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master hey, Jan Hoos about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. There. And they shamelessly Thanks profit Christ. from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? There. Pay and you will have Thanks absolution. Christ. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained there. from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. I don't want they accents. I want people who understand what they're reading. While Jesus Christ I'm not sure how many people would understand every Czech no accent, so... Yeah, the accent, I mean, it doesn't Look have to, to be a Czech accent. I don't know. Robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people, too. Amen! Well, I mean, the fact that they got... Is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. Great sermon. That last Great reminds sermon. reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Who preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor? Like, the fact that they have so me. much voice acting in this game missing. is very impressive. I'm better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. You want to preach against debauchery? Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be, for, for debauchery? No, I don't. What do you think of this, Jan Hoos? He's certainly a wise man. <laughs> I'm a little overzealous for my taste. If he got out like of Prague book. and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Debauchery! Where can I find out more about his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. You can, you can, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say Yeah, yeah, he sounds like a military guy, right? They're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. Okay, enough about preaching. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. 
Okay, I mean, like, I feel like we should probably drink with him, because otherwise... Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Otherwise, we're not going to get uh, him to talk. Oh, you got so drunk you accidentally drank the dice. Oh no! Enough that's a whole this. nother... That's a whole nother hey, meaning to craps. Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with him. <laughs> Don't fix me again, father. It's three hours past dusk. And curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men, throw them out. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Come on, then, Robot house. <laughs> oh. Lost your wind. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs> Hang on, I got. I might have skills. I got a level in drinking. I got that's horsemanship. That's not gonna give me anything. Yeah, get him. Uh. <laughs> Okay. Oh. What's where? Where am I? Where am I? Hey! I got him! I got him, Father! Oh dear! Did that hurt? It's a sin to fight. I'm so fucking wasted. Come on! We got him. Don't worry, Father, we can make it. I'm believing us. Let's bring these wenches. We're gonna. We're gonna have all four of us. We're gonna have a great time. It's gonna be good, Father. Come on. Whoa. Step, my dear. Careful, you don't hurt yourself. Scott, when you're a boon. Let me show you this move we found in the there monastery we, we call it the windmill. <laughs> it needs all four of us. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. This guy is in super deep shit. Oh God! <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck? And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> God, my old goat. Come here. Oh, 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 oh,
What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our Don't own? look, chat. It's naughty. <laughs> Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, what's the status effect that I have? I don't know what this is. Does that mean I'm hungry? Yes, yes it does. Hang on. That's bad. We don't want that. There we go. All right, Father, what are we doing? Oh man, we are fucking smashed. We earned the priest's trust. We did it. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This game is now a buddy cop with you and the drunken horny priest. Yeah. I watched 300 plus hours of your stream last year, but none god of them win, you beast. hours was as smoking hot as the last few minutes. I'm glad you, you could be me? here for it, Melux. Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out. Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Oh, my God. What's up, MHT? We have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, stay in my head. Oh my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Your Before flag, the sheep are going to come for you, dude. I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass. Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say, Mass, you have to help me. Ow! Oh, you're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy, but I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no uh -oh. one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Okay. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. Perfect. Flawless. I don't know about that, dude. Oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. <clears throat> well, we earned a new level in drinking. Confessional seal isn't sacred anymore. All right, but I can't guarantee the result. <sighs> well, all right. Well, I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do, exactly? I'll go and start the liturgy. Then I'll introduce you. 
You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. We gained liver damage. Hooray! Let's get to it, then. Oh, God. Oh, gods. Here we go. I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Come on. Thrill them with your manly stank. Well, they'll all talk about it for sure. <clears throat> I thought he'd never show up. The swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. <laughs> Look at him. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'd throw up. I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit Panem, in Sanctas, at Venerabiles, a manus suas. Whoa. Hoc facit. Dude, he's gonna throw up in into that goblin. Commemoration. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush to investigate that heinous crime at oh Neuhaus. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague, where, by the grace of God, was able the to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. This is my body, this is my blood, this I've is yesterday's to dinner. Henry <clears throat> to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. Because, as you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Now I'm curious. Curious which one of them will puke first. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, greetings, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am here to tell you about Mother Church and to show you through my words how she is falling into decay and abandon, how the once great mother of all Christians is losing her dignity and trading in souls like the merchants in the temple. Uh, but I am digressing. That whelp wants to preach about the church. Uh... Creation has given to every man the power by which he know. might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <clears throat> it is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, humans... Hunger and chaos. The accursed wealth that the church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take okay. the bone and they will stop. Just Bring like the, the flock fire, of Billy. ravens that is descending on this it. land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade 
everything, everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay, and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves and he actually rem absolution. remembers this part. Oh, shame! Shame upon them! Uh... The sin is human? It is the custom of the gluttonous prelates and monks to preach against sin. But what do they know of us ordinary folk? Let us remember the marriage at Cana, where our Lord Jesus Christ himself feasted with the other guests and drank his fill. And when the wine was gone, he performed a miracle and created more. He, whose companions were poor travellers, simple folk, prostitutes and troublemakers, performed a miracle so the feast could continue. Now that's the kind of sermon I like to hear. No, brothers and sisters. Jesus did not condemn alcohol. Drink to lighten the cross you bear in this veil of tears, but not with such abandon that you cannot keep holy the Sabbath. For there should be moderation in all things, <laughs> and it is not drinking itself that is sinful, but intemperance and beastly indulgence. He's right. Great sermon. Great so Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's, uh, let's go harsh, harsh again? Har harsh? Harsh. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about, and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself oh, good. were to great. Pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice okay, great. and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. All right, great. Yeah, we're crushing it. Away with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. Uh, criticize debauching priests, including Godwin. Uh, criticize prelates, but stand up for Godwin. Try to try try some quote to conclude. Uh, let's do this. God sees what is happening on earth, and He is filled Wait, we wanna, with righteous wrath. We want to back Godwin up because he's going to seek the salvation of souls. Instead, seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage, who do not condemn your venial sins. I all honor to Godwin. Let him drink like one of us. That is all I heard in Prague. Amen. Hey, we did it. I think that was pretty good. Have you heard about the Western Schism when they had two popes? I mean, that's the game, right? Is it, are we going to throw up now? The lad spoke well, considering what a soak he is. He's right, that was. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a silver tongue. I'm glad he came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague, but he told it nicely. Need to learn his hand movements for important occasions, yeah. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I wasn't the only one. Oh, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony and fornication. God does forgive a penitent. So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now, slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. Don't let me down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhof. Um, that would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. So I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? Uh, only nicknames. Uh, 
Talked about some fella called Ricky from Ledechko. Pious Timmy. Pious. <laughs> Pious Timmy. That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Odechko, right? Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, I'll try. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. And if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. I don't doubt it. <laughs> what a fucking crazy priest. All right. Goddamn. Chat heard it all. We can all testify. Yeah, it's true. Tourney happening in Rate today. You can sign up with the Herald this morning. Okay. We're not fucking rats. We're not rats. What do you think we is? Rats? Is that what you think? Oh, goodness gracious. All right.